there, I am Susie from Start A Mom Blog and I love editing and changing and playing with pictures in my free time. If I'm not blogging or being with my girls or napping, I am spending all my free time kind of tinkering around with pictures. So I normally use um, PowerPoint a little bit. I use Photoshop and PicMonkey. Photoshop is great, but it is so tricky to use and I feel like I need additional courses and help to use such a big, robust program like Photoshop. So I do most of my editing in PicMonkey because it's just easier and super quick and I can access it from anywhere. So what I wanna show you today is how to remove a background from a picture. And then there's more um, videos that I'll go through to show you kind of little tips and tricks how I use PicMonkey. So I hope you like it. Let's go into how to remove a picture from, how to, move, how to remove the background from a picture. So we'll go into design, be fine. So we have an image here. We can then load our, um, our image where we wanna take the picture out or the background out. So go into overlays, add your own from your computer. And I'll just grab a little picture here of me and my darling little baby. All right. So you can make it a little larger. I'm going to remove all the gray background that you see there and then just keep me and her in the image. So I'm stretching it a little bit to make it nice and large. All right, then click on the eraser side here in your overlay and make it a little larger because we're gonna be erasing all of this. So you're gonna erase all the big places and big spots. And don't worry if you do go over the image, it's easy to add it back. Um, pieces that you've accidentally erased. So let's make that a little smaller. And what you can do is then zoom in. Really don't wanna do like my face. I wanna do her face, she's much cuter than I am. So let's zoom in here at the top. There you go. All right. So we'll make the size a little smaller, make the harshness around 40. And then you can just slowly go around your image and erase the background. So I'm gonna show you kind of the end result. I'm not gonna sit here and do the whole thing. But if you accidentally say, oops, we erased her nose, um, go into the paintbrush and you can just paint it back. So you can make it a little smaller. And we'll just paint that cute little nose back on. All right, so what I would suggest then, just go through the entire image and erase all the parts, the entire background. All right, so once you have mostly everything erased, Once you've gone around the entire image and you've erased everything, what you then do is go back to the top um, part of PicMonkey here of the editing, editing settings, go into Canvas Color and select Transparent Canvas. So it's gonna make everything that you've erased is gonna be transparent, right? So if you've erased these parts, it's all gonna be transparent and then you're gonna have this image without a background. So I've already done this because I don't want to spend 20 minutes erasing everything. Um, I've already done this. So then what you do, once you've um, converted it to a transparent background, you hit apply and then you save it to your hub. So image without a background. So you'll save it to your hub. And then what you wanna do is load the, the true background image that you wanna use, right? So we wanna um, overlay this on top of a different image. So what you then do is let's load that true image. Um, it could be this one, this is fine. And I'll crop this a little bit, make it look better, my post-it notes. So hit apply, 
We'll make it a little bit brighter with the exposure tool. Look at that, that's poppy. Contrast makes the colors pop out even more. Hit apply. All right, now let's go get that flying baby image and add it. <laughs> the image that we just deleted the background from. So go into overlays, go into add your own and you saved it to the hub or wherever, wherever you saved it. And this one is where I erased more of the background. So we'll open that, add that to our image. And here you can see baby and I are flying through the post-it notes. All right, so that's how you can take one picture, erase the background, and then put it on top of another image. So that's pretty cute. I hope you like flying baby. <laughs> All right, so that's tutorial number one, or one of the little tips that I wanna share with you. So I hope you like that. Let me know, um, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have more blogging tips and um, image tips. And then um, just if you want a mommy friend, I'm there for you too. All right, so I'll talk to you soon, thanks.